What's going on YouTube? Today, I took two losing trades. One was a bad losing trade, and the other one I think was a good winning trade that went with my plan. So let's go ahead and break those down right now. So here's the deal. I should not have made this first trade. The reason is the trade initially kind of goes with my entry model of entering at the end of a flat bottom candlestick, but we're entering right into the support zone. I should have waited for a breakdown, a retest, and then a continuation. I did not do that. I saw a breakdown into support and I'm like, okay, well, every time something bounces off support, it gets a little bit weaker each time. So I'm thinking, you know, we're getting ready to hit it for a fourth time. So I went ahead and placed a trade. Uh, volume was kind of coming up on this candlestick this candlestick and the candlestick that I entered on. I was thinking that hopefully we would flush through it. Obviously that didn't happen. I should have waited for the retest and I didn't. Going to uh, the good losing trade that I had that does follow my plan. And I obviously, you know, we are in this range right here. Uh, when I took this trade, I was hoping we would push overnight highs. That didn't happen. So we got this push up out of this minor chop right area right here. Uh, and then it breaks back down, touches VWAP pushes back up again where I entered right at the top. <laughs> it turned around and stopped me out. This first trade would have been completely avoidable had I just stuck with my plan and waited for a retest of this obvious support zone. I didn't do that, paid the price for it. Uh, so it is what it is. When I see days like this, I mean, if you just look from 8.30 to nine o'clock, which is when I usually start looking at the chart, I mean, we're chopping all morning. I should have just looked at it and said, you know what, it's not gonna be today. Not even traded the morning session, maybe waiting until uh, the afternoon session and trading during power hour. So you know what? I paid the price for it. It is what it is. On the day we're down 3,400 bucks. On the week we are down $985. So we're not looking too bad. And on the month it's the same exact thing. So, or I'm excited to start looking at the charts again next week. I mean, just look at the, look at the five minute right here. Look how hairy this looks. I mean, it's there's like, there's no really flowy price action. I mean, I guess my strategy wouldn't have really worked today. It's price action is just too choppy. It's not trending. I mean, three hours into market open and we're still trading in this, in this, in this range right here. We're still trading in this range. I don't think I've ever seen price trade sideways for this long, but I need to be able to identify days like this and realize that, you know what, it's just not gonna be the day, wait for clean price action and just move on. I didn't, I paid the price for it and it is what it is. I will catch you guys for tomorrow's recap. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button, bye.